henry darling got married a couple of weeks ago so he wanted to be all new mannish and um wanted to take on his wife's name so now he's called mrs josephine felicity darling very good yeah but you know uh it's uh it's really no fun when you go to a wedding and you end up obviously being the only person who's not in a couple penelope you know what I mean. <laughs> You're there with me. Exactly. So, of course, they always try and pair you up with the only other singleton there. If only. Yeah. <laughs> well, listen to this, Penelope. If you think you've had it bad, I was paired up with a giant prawn. <laughs> yeah, seriously, me and a prawn. Two hours I was flirting with him, only to find out he was only interested in the cocktails. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, the older that I get, actually, it is much harder to find men. Admittedly, I normally find them hiding in the corner, gulping down fistfuls of retinol. <laughs> but there's one group of men, one group of men, actually, I am popular with. Stalkers. <laughs> Anyone here ever had a stalker? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's actually quite common, unfortunately. But you know, stalkers, they seem to hang out in the same places that I do. Which may be why they acquire the name stalker. The best thing about having a stalker is that you look on YouTube and you find that you've had 15,000 hits on your video of you doing your nude shower shot. Yay! And uh, I've seen yours too, Penelope, so uh, you know you might want to be washing behind your ears next time. Thank you. The downside of having a stalker is that he's looking at you through his binoculars and knocking you in the chin as he's half fucking you to death. <laughs> that is not so good. But yesterday I was actually stalked by a pigeon. Yeah, that's right. Everywhere I went, there he was giving me the nod. <laughs> Behind his little scrappy bit of news of the world, <laughs> with his camera phone snapping away. And then he said, darling, you're going to take me home? Show us your fanny. <laughs> you see, pigeons are filthy. <laughs> But uh, my granddad, he felt a little bit lonely after he lost his wife, my grandma, and so he decided to replace her with Dave the Wolfhound. Not so good at the washing up. <laughs> Afternoon tea, right over his head. Literally. So uh, there's one thing, though, that he is an expert on. Licking bollocks. <laughs> and so believe me, my granddad is in seventh <laughs> The one thing that I like Dave the Wolf Dog for is because he's actually psychic. I'm not kidding you, he is genuinely psychic. He came up to me yesterday and just stared me in the face and went... <laughs> now the thing is, I know without a doubt that that is a message from my dead grandmother because when she was alive, there was one thing that she always used to say to me, which was, oh. <laughs> <laughs> And my granddad, actually his profession is a doctor. I don't know if you've heard of a proctologist. Yeah. It's another name for a bum doctor, that's right. So that means, at some point in his career journey, he decided, you know what, I want to spend eight hours a day staring up bum holes. <laughs> yeah, lovely. I mean, maybe he just did it for the crack and <laughs> left some large openings and just fell in after that. I really don't know. <laughs> My sister decided that she wanted to have a nose job. So she had those before and after photos done. Do you know those ones that they have in the magazines to advertise, you know, for plastic surgery? So photo before, she looked like Barbara Streisand. photo afterwards, she looked like Barbara Streisand. With a nose job. 
<laughs> so, you know. But having before and after photographs, actually, they're not always the best thing to advertise your business, depending on what it is, which I told my grandfather, the bum doctor. <laughs> so, yeah. Picture before anal probing, something like that. Picture after anal probing, something like that. Yeah. And I had to say to him, Grandad, come on, please take those photos down. I look really fat in that one. <laughs> but uh, I'm just going to leave you on this one. I don't know if you've heard, but some very clever female scientists have now been able to invent how to make um, sperm, male sperm, completely artificially and in the test tube. So now we don't actually need men at all, ladies. Yeah. Isn't this great? Yeah. 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 <laughs> and the best thing is, it's chocolate flavoured. Yeah.